morning. Welcome. Today we are going to do a demonstration of application of stochosorb. And we'll see how to use stochosorb in planting of trees and also in planting of dry land vegetables. So stochosorb is a hydrogel polymer. That means it absorbs water and retains the water at the root zone of plants. And therefore it helps the plant to tolerate drought um, situations. To help me out today, I have Samuel from EcoCare. Good morning, Samuel. I'm fine. So we will begin by doing a demonstration of planting a tree seedling using stock absorb. The first thing to do is you weigh out 100 grams stock absorb mixed in 20 liters of water. In the same water, you mix 40 milliliters of Africelp. Mix it in the water, you mix the 100 grams of stochosorb into the water and then mix all the combination for about 15 minutes together until you make a nice thick slurry. 100 grams of stochosorb fits in about this much in a cup, a normal drinking cup. Use about half a liter to about 600 milliliters of slurry that's about as much as fits in your palm, one handful, and apply it to the seedling base, smearing it around the seedling base. Apply a little bit to the bottom of the hole and place your seedling in the hole and then align it as much uh, stock absorb as possible, aligning to the seedling base. And then cover your seedling with soil and apply water. The next demonstration is about how to apply stochosorb in nursery seed bed preparation. So prepare your seed bed in the normal way. Cut your planting furrows according to the seeds that you're going to plant. Then apply about 50 grams per meter squared of stochosorb inside each furrow. And then plant your seeds next or on top of the stochosorb. After this, you can water and then cover the furrows with soil. Make sure that you don't cover with too much soil, just enough. When you do this, you will see that the furrows will begin to swell up as the stochosorb absorbs the water. This is a sign that this, the planting is successful. The final demonstration is about how to use stochosorb in planting field plants or dry land agriculture as we call it. This is when you are planting in a place where maybe it doesn't rain as much. This is for maize and beans and so forth. So cut your holes in the normal way, then apply 5 to 10 grams of stochosorb at the center of the hole and then plant your seedlings. You can drop your seeds in each hole as you would normally do. Then water the holes and then cover with soil. Ensure that you always add Africelp to the water that you're using to water your holes because Africelp will help your seedlings to establish and to produce good roots. So once you have covered your holes, then the planting is successful and you will see that there will be a bit of swelling, which means that the stochosorb has absorbed water around the seedling or the seed and it will continue to provide water to that seedling as it grows. Thanks for watching our videos. We hope you enjoyed them. Please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such informative videos.